Okay, we're given this uh, implicitly defined relation. It has to find the second derivative of y with respect to x. So we got to start by finding the first derivative implicitly. Derivative of y cubed is 3y squared y prime. Then for this second term, we need to use the product rule. So the derivative of the first is minus 1 times the second is y plus the first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of uh, the first, I mean the first is minus x. And the derivative of the constant is 0. So from these two terms, we'll factor out a y prime. And we'll transpose the minus 1 y to the right side of the equal sign. And then we'll divide by the coefficient of y prime. There's the first derivative. <coughs> to get y double prime, we need to use the quotient rule. So there's the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which is 6y y prime minus 1 over the denominator square, all over the denominator squared. <coughs> we'll go ahead and distribute this y minus y times each term here. And then I'm going to replace each of these y primes with the earlier calculated expression y over 3y squared minus x. So that's what these are right here. Now, to simplify this, I would first notice that these 3y squared minus x's cancel out. So that first term is just left with the term y. Uh, and at that point, I'd say, well, this is a complex fraction. It's got a big fraction containing a little fraction, this one right here. So if I multiply numerator and denominator of the big fraction by this denominator, I will reach a fraction that's not complex. So 3y squared minus y times each term of the numerator. That leaves y times 3y squared minus x. Picture distributing that y. 3y cubed minus xy. Then take 3y squared minus x times the second term. The 3y squared minus x is cancel out. I'm left with minus 6y cubed times this. And that's wrong. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> because these have canceled out. So I'm left with minus 6y cubed. And then plus y times 3y squared minus x is 3y cubed minus xy. And when I take this denominator, or this factor times this denominator, I just increase that exponent by 1. If I combine similar terms, those y cubes combine to 0, minus 2xy over that 3y squared minus x, the quantity cubed. So there's your second derivative right there. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Um.